Today, we're going to be checking out a fantastic set of 4231 custom tactics that are utilizing 100 depth. Let's get into it. This is going to be one of three episodes of me covering tactics that utilize 100 depth. I've messed around with loads of formations and there were three that really stood out for me. So we're going to be covering all three of those. But today we are going to be starting with the 4231, a really robust shape that presses absolutely excellent. So these are probably my most go-to out of the three, but the other two do really have a place depending on where you're at in your game. So the 4 2 3 one, we're going to run defensive style balanced, defensive width 20, and depth, of course, 100. The reason the width is so narrow paired with that 100 depth is when you're being that aggressive, it's important to keep as compact as possible in the middle. Pro player Johnny, who popularized this, actually used 15 depth, but 20 is what I've been running with and it's been working absolutely fantastic. So that's what I would recommend. Build up play and chance creation is fast build up possession. For those of you that have watched these videos before, you'll know in more recent times, I discovered this combination and I think it is hands down the best in the game. I think it is better than direct passing and you're going to see this coming up a lot more on the channel before we hit FC 25. Needless to say, if you haven't tried this combination before, trust me, give it a go. You will absolutely love it. As far as the offensive width goes that is 50 straight down the middle no need to do anything too crazy with a 4-2-3-1 players in the box is on six and then corners and free kicks just go with whatever your personal preference is getting into the player instruction so our striker is on getting behind i debated a drift wide just just because it is a lone striker but i opted to keep it balanced and i actually do quite like the mix of runs and it hasn't found my striker too isolated with it on balance so just getting behind for the striker has worked really well just to occupy the center backs the cam the central cam that is is just on getting to the box for cross and the wide cams are the same but they are also on comeback on defense just so we have got more defensive stability in those wide areas the two central defensive midfielders are both stay back while attacking cover center the balance instruction is not necessary because with how much we're pressing in this formation they get so involved anyway so basically putting them on a stay back just ensures they're on reins a little bit and not over committing and then both wing backs are both just stay back while attacking and overlap just so if they do make runs forward or we trigger them on runs they stick to the byline we don't need them venturing inwards too much there's plenty going on in the middle of the park with this formation instruction wise it's nothing crazy nothing you wouldn't have seen before but honestly the combination of these with the six players in the box the fast build-up possession and of course that secret key hidden gem of the 100 depth probably not so secret now it's definitely getting raved about the last month or so but with this setup the 100 depth is excellent all you need to do as the player is just be mindful of the runs in behind and manually tracking them other than that you're just going to get like this fantastic nasty suffocating auto press that only kind of the cream of the crop of this community are able to play out of jumping into some gameplay just so you can kind of see how the 100 depth works in this shape before you go and try the tactics i'll just give you a quick rundown of who i'm using where just to give you an idea of the best sort of um players to use in each of these positions so striker go for someone capable on the ball and if you like the aerial plus style of play go for it your central cam can be a second striker it hasn't got to be someone super creative for your wide players i would aim for 5-5 five five and finesse shot plus or at least have finesse shot plus on one of them always good to have that in your locker for the central defensive midfielders i'm personally using two box to box style players on this account i've got barella and i don't actually know how you say his name but it's the canadian 95 rated center mid stefan us de Quio. <laughs> for those of you who know how to pronounce his name please correct me down below because i know i've absolutely butchered that and then as far as the wing backs go Again, it's not necessary to have people really capable going forward, but if they can, then great. If you like triggering your wing backs and runs, maybe put a bit more of an onus on that. But the key with this formation and the 100 depth is that you just pin the opponent in such awkward spots that you win the ball back so often. And then that fast build up possession, the positions, the passing angles, and the shapes that open up for you with so little of the opposition back because you've won the ball high up. It's just absolutely awesome. The 4-2-3-1, in my opinion, is the best pressing formation because you've kind of got this line of five where two players are sitting deeper. So if they break the initial line, there's still sort of two anchors there for the opposition to get past and the wingbacks can push up. It's just a horrible shape to play against. 
if they're pressing really well, which the 100 depth is going to aid you with so much. Give these custom tactics a go, guys. Let me know down below how you do get on with them. And like I say, there are two more 100 depth custom tactics videos to come, so keep your eyes peeled for those. If this does help you out, be sure to check out my other custom tactics videos. The playlist is linked in the description down below for you guys. But if you did make it this far in the video, guys, as always, I really appreciate your time. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your bell on. Take care, guys.